four, three, two, one, six. Sink. Sink. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome Mardi to Gras. episode 218 of the Mardi TV Gras. podcast. Mardi Gras. Why the triple Mardi Gras? That's a new one. Grady Mar. Grady Mar. Grady Mar. Oh my God. <laughs> Grady Mar. <laughs> let's keep repeating it again and again. I think it's funnier every time. Grady Mar. Grady Mar. Grady Mar. Wow, that was great. Hilarious. Good job. Grady Mar. Them on, Grady Mar. Thank you, Echo John. Grady Mar. <laughs> I don't like a metal band or something. <laughs> I don't want it. I, we always make fun of the repeating it makes it funnier thing, but like it actually works. <laughs> it always makes it funnier. Yeah. It does make it funnier. Well, how's it going this week? Oh wait, no, sorry, Brody I forgot a new thing. Uh, okay, I was gonna say, are we not doing that? Okay. Hi everybody, I'm Messina. I'm Barteran. I'm LJ. I'm John. I'm Ben. I'm Takuma Nuva. I'm Purple. And I'm Tenebrae Invictus. And I'm red. And I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'll answer. laughs> Which Why episode is it? No, no, no. It's not the end Thank yet. You. We don't ask that yet. Why did Why did Envy get dropped to the bottom of the name order? That's what I was thinking. Because he no, he's okay. a failure. Because I've been gone. It's because that's what we always <laughs> do. You've been gone. Whenever people leave for long Thank periods you. of time, it like it just resets. Not like, for instance, if Keeney came back today, he was like the first person in this group, current group besides Var, but he wouldn't yeah, be at the top of the Keeney. name order. Yeah, you know? see, this is what I was saying. <laughs> that's Keeney, though. We like Envy. Wow. wow. I'm not like Keeney. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Not I mean, okay, think about just this. not around. Think That's about all. this. Ven's been with you guys. Like, he started the BZPC server, but I'm in front of him because I was on the podcast first, and he le- he wasn't on it for a while, and true. he came back. That's why I mean, I'm listen, in front of him. I'd love for Ven to be before you. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> too bad, so sad. <laughs> you're off. Grotty Mar. Grotty Mar. Grotty Mar. <laughs> it's all right. Save the best for last. <laughs> ah. Again, why did we put you at the bottom of the name order? Grotty oh, Mar sounds like a Jack and Daxter character. I want to go to the end now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, how's uh, what's the weather? Grotty Mar. The weather is fine. The weather? The weather? Really? The weather? We're such. jumping to the weather already. The weather. I feel hey, like guys, that's a very amateur question today. to ask. I say myself. the weather. Okay, so like, started. it's finally uh, it's finally turning fall slash like. Winter cold. Oh, dude, I know it's, it's getting here. cold, it's and like I love it. A year ago for me, it. we were having. It. Lip- it's taken it a while, Sigh. but I didn't realize how sick I was of heat and humidity until I went outside last night, and it was like kind of chilly. I was like, "Oh yeah, this is my time of year." Guys, let's play a game. Whenever Purple like tries to say freak. something, talk over her. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I like that idea. No, okay, yeah, sorry, yeah, so anyway, yeah, all right. Uh, Flappy hey, hasn't guys, been on for a while. <laughs> All right, well, before we get into that whole thing, which we should maybe talk about, uh, this episode is brought to us by our sponsors at Vessel, Vessel.com, forward slash TTV channel, and the TTV message boards at board.ttvchannel.com. They're fantastic why, people. And, uh, why are the message boards a sponsor, sh- and when did this start? No, I, I, I don't know, dude. I, I, start, I did this the other day. For a few weeks, because we no, got to no, promote yeah. our amazing... Friends over at the TV Listen, message board. If you want the, the to promote staff. the boards, promote the boards, but they don't sponsor us. They do sponsor us, though. We can't no, sponsor don't. ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's like saying. No, no, no. These, I mean, like, uh, we've our, been our working. great sponsors it's brought joke, to you by guys. our hands. <coughs> I put the joke I is mean, dumb. The commercial is brought to you by Burger King. <laughs> All right. I don't think a joke being dumb has stopped us from using it before. <laughs> but this <laughs> one is particularly <laughs> dumb. Right, girl. We use you Got every day. Mark. Oh, uh, uh, that doesn't only really prove his point, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Let's... So anyway, as I was him, saying then. before, Ab- a year she's talking. No, so no. no a year ago. Uh, a year ago. Uh, <laughs> okay, stop this. Stop this. Bye. <laughs> Enough. Anyway, a year ago, it was a like we ago. were having literal <laughs> blizzards. Up. Then that's so ironic coming from you, by the way. Anyway, what? a year ago we were having literal blizzards, and now it's been like 80 degrees for like two weeks. That sucks. So oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that okay. sounds so nice. <laughs> she finally got I to like... say what she wanted to say. Say what you need to say. Say what you need wow. to say. Say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. Anyone who's say. coming into this episode wanting to hear some actual discussion <laughs> about this, stop. because they probably <laughs> know stop. the news we have. 
Kai, you say it's like every episode. Like, oh, what if this is someone's first episode? Well, like, because it, okay. This week we do. <laughs> I've been here for like two years, a, man. To be fair, every episode is somebody's first episode. Yeah, somebody. Yeah. <laughs> what a great episode. Ain't the shot is doing the shit. Oh my goodness. This week we do actually happen to have a lot Roddy of important Moore. stuff. So rather than try to awkwardly segue so we don't waste time, I'm just gonna like I'm gonna cut to the chase. Uh before That's awkwardly segue. Are we sponsored by Chase? No. So <laughs> do we wanna do we wanna talk about what happened yesterday at all? Or do let's we go, let's no, go. Please, no, please, we should. Wait, no, 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 no. no. We should. Yes, no, no, no. We sh- yesterday, we sh- I slept in until like 5 Guys, o'clock. I, we- I've, had ever, I've had a bad enough day yesterday. I want to <laughs> Just because it sucks today. doesn't mean it can't. It shouldn't be addressed. Like, right. Yeah, let's, let's I agree. Just not- <laughs> no, he's just not. We have to. This yeah, isn't so- on the news docket. We don't have to do this. <laughs> just briefly. So uh, yesterday, we uh, like, you know, all of heck keeled over. <laughs> it was TLDL R yes. I don't know if you'd read or listen to this. We uh we hosted the I first I guarantee you they don't read this. Yeah. <laughs> we, That's not what's happening right we now. We hosted well we attempted to host the first Biocraft game night on the island of Montanui. And due to Keyword of attempted. Yeah. Due to a bunch of stuff. Incompetent server providers not actually putting up servers. <laughs> Vin's comp almost exploded because he tried to help us when the server hosting site dropped the ball. Uh, it was kind of a laggy mess. So yeah, it was really employable. Yeah. Like uh, the uh, the thing to really take away from here is that like we had we were trying to get a, a dedicated server set up for the, uh, the the game night. Obviously, that didn't work out, unfortunately. So we resorted to a backup server, which obviously wasn't able to handle the strain of, like, 70-plus people on at once. By the way, great turnout. Thanks yeah, great turnout. Yeah, thanks, thanks, guys, for showing but up. You guys are awesome. The takeaway from this is that, you, you know, you fans are awesome, and a bunch of you came out, like, a, a huge amount that we were not expecting. Way more than we thought. Way so more than we thought. So we were not prepared for that, and fortunately, uh, because we didn't have our dedicated server up, and because Vin's computer is just his computer... It was completely annihilated by the like, <laughs> and, the and, mass like, of people trying to log to in at once. To be fair, too, it's not like I mean, uh, Ven's computer is a really great, well, computer, computer for editing. It's, yeah, like we it's use it for good, editing, but it's, it's not good for like hosting seventy people. Yeah, it's not a server, server, right? Server. So yeah, it's not like we just chose a random person. Like, hey, Ven, you have internet, right? You can host it. <laughs> you can host your own server. Yeah. Now and we it's not, it's not like we thought guys, that we just, could just do this without any preparation at all and just like right. pulled up a random computer and was like let's lose the server <laughs> we, we awesome. didn't try yeah, to get a dedicated server didn't, uh, being much better yeah it just didn't work but, uh, so as yeah, soon as that, we that get a... as soon as we get a dedicated server that actually will respond to us in a timely manner and actually put up the server <laughs> like 24 hour customer to... service am I right hashtag 24 hour customer I'm support so mad. hashtag biocraft <laughs> dead again <laughs> <Or LJ. laughs> <laughs> yeah, LJ, how did it, do you have anything you'd like to say in defense of, like... I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> you got the front of a lot of sarcastic it. one-liners. I, I don't think you understand, Meso. This would be, like, if... <clears throat> the, the best comparison for you, Meso, since you try and remain so above projects that have a longevity factor in them, mm-hmm. is if Chronicler's Convergence was the one thing people looked forward to us making for years. And then you said, all right, guys, it's finally going to happen. And then you upload it, and so many people are trying to watch it. <laughs> it completely crashes our website, uh, Vessel, YouTube, what have you. Crashes and everything, everything it, just deletes itself. And then, it's <laughs> your, and then it's your fault. Yeah. Yeah, I can't imagine That's it was how- fun. No, no, I feel absolutely terrible. I don't want to talk about this. Well, <laughs> thankfully, well, I sounded it's like a console. zombie all day yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you never I really know. recovered. <laughs> uh, so, no, fans, send, still... send LJ your love and support. And instead of pestering him about where the Biocraft server is, pester him about where the pester recaps about are. Johnny. To oh bolster, my god! Because that will bolster, like, <laughs> his sense of self-worth. <laughs> Hey, um, no, is, the, is the movie okay? still happening? It, it, it's bolstered. 
<laughs> it's bolstering is so worth because they care about his personal show. Oh my god! I think god. people underestimate yeah, LJ's legions. What is legion. your problem? I think people underestimate LJ's legions of fans. People like wow. LJ. <laughs> <laughs> people wow. like grapes, people Apparently, like LJ. One of those people is not stuff. you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Grief, what are you trying to do? I here, just want to see LJ's stuff come to pass. I'm gonna go crawl into a, <laughs> I'm gonna go crawl into a cave. Maybe by the time I get out I'll build an Iron Man suit. <laughs> <laughs> with a box of scraps of my soul. <laughs> <laughs> so short oh, version wow. was we we ended up saving the day, kind of, by going to some random server and spreading the love of Bionicle to the masses. It was really we we unintentionally DDoSed some poor guy's server. Basically, we had then, like I, I posted a link to a random IP, and everybody joined. Everyone it. showed up. <laughs> All I got the dude that ran that server people. found us on Discord <laughs> later too. Yeah. He did. He did. He How he. How do you do that? He because, searched. Well, he because searched, uh, everybody kept posting Bionicle memes in the uh, chat, so he was able to search like our names and connected to a Bionicle like YouTube channel. Yeah. Found the big names and then found our video. It also on the, didn't help that I was uh, the leader of the faction and my name's Google Messinac. Yeah. So. yeah, he literally just googled <laughs> Meso yeah. and he really found our channel. Thing. And then like the video of Minecraft Game Night had our Discord chat yeah. in the link of it so he's able to yeah. just join it thankfully the guy was incredibly cool from what i understand i didn't actually talk to him <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I didn't either but. i tried to be on the server but between the shallow husk that i had become <laughs> and my oh my gosh enough with the pity party my, <laughs> my this my is just how it is man that's how it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be like this I, for I, a I, while. I wasn't there for very long, and I never actually spoke to the guy. But apparently, I didn't even, you it was also time. like uh, he. It was the, the message that he sent me was, "Hey, I'm the owner of the server you raided. If you need any help setting up anything of your own, I'd love to help. Uh, creating MC servers is my full time job." Oh, wow. Wow. That's cool. cool. I didn't hear about that. That's insane. <laughs> well, maybe maybe we should have messaged him. Hey, <laughs> could, you, uh, me. could you help us out? You're this a 24 hour customer service, right? <laughs> You're going to help us. Let's move on to another story. It was a lot of fun, oh, no. though. Yeah, we just yeah. had like, a legion oh, okay. of like, people say, like, following us. I don't think people can truly appreciate 70 plus people going to some random spot in the desert and trying to like make a village. <laughs> like, it was. No, okay, you know what? I, have, I captured that. Yeah, because yeah, like there's a lot of Minecraft I servers with clips. 70 people on it, obviously, but not 70 people all working in unison and coordinated. The working, working class together. shall rise again. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, everybody, class shall rise again. Dig. Listen, whichever one of you fans said the working class shall rise again, you get you get the var honor of approval. I love that joke. I mean, that had me <laughs> well, laughing great, for quite a while. The faction was named Bonkle for the win, and we were trying to make the TT village. Uh, but what happened was we got like a makeshift village set up, and then some dude with god mode came in and killed everybody. <laughs> like all the people. I bet that guy was having no a fun nobody time. Could touch him, and we were saying like this dude is the physical embodiment of Lego's corporate upper management, <laughs> slashing down the Bionicle community, like the literal He's Bionicle down the community. working class. He took down the literal Bionicle community, the village. It, and it's like a metaphor for like the figurative <laughs> bionicle community can cut down. So, you know, it was it was a fun time despite everything. Yeah, it was really yeah. fun. There, there are so many people on call at one point. So just like, hey, everybody, what's your favorite Toa? And literally, <laughs> a demon was summoned, like from from the death. All seventy people said their favorite Toa at once. <laughs> at it was time. a wall of noise. <laughs> a wall of noise. <laughs> Wow. TV episode 218, a wall of noise. <laughs> it was my first minor, small, small, small scale experience with what like a crowd is like. Like someone speaking to like Have you an never audience. been in, You've never been in the crowd before? Not like... This is a mess out we're talking not about. Not to that degree. It was like a cheering crowd. Like I've, I've spoken before. You've like, never been to like a cool sports stuff. game? Like a basketball <laughs> game? Or not a where I was the center of attention. <laughs> You okay, know? no, fair enough. All right, no, I get that. I get that. Yeah, I get you. it's, it's like, like you guys are having the Brick like, was our first experience of being so really like talk. It's like, dude, I loved, I loved playing crowd control once I finally got home. I will yeah. say though, it, it was one of the easier game nights to manage because everyone we we had it was the largest game night we've ever had. I've never seen that many people gather for anything that we wanted to do outside of Makuta Fest. And everyone was actually really calm, really polite. They let us talk. They they would mute when we asked. It was, it was yeah. It was nice up until it disaster. Wasn't. 
And then well, up and oh, it was like, oh, Bioko's well, dead again. We're g- oh, I've waited <laughs> five <laughs> years for this. <laughs> yeah. like, we have waited wait five back, years for another game night. Yeah. My favorite comparison was like, dude, it's like if they we finally got Bionicle to come back and they made a Bionicle movie. And we all, everybody, every single Bionicle fan <laughs> gathered in the, the theater parking lot and met up. And we're like, all right, guys, you guys ready to watch this movie? We turn around and the theater catches our fire. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but listen, it's just, it's, it sounds like I missed quite a bit. You did. <laughs> but listen, we are, we're going to bounce back. We all just stand there dishes. in the parking lot watching the theater burn down. <laughs> well, that's the point where you say, hey, we've got enough people. Grab your water bottles. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically what happened. Yeah. So yeah. don't worry about it, though. If we throw enough people on the fire, we can smother it. We're, we're, we're very <laughs> sorry that that did happen, but Biocraft has survived a lot worse over the years. We're going to bounce <laughs> I thought back. We killed it. We're going to bounce back from this. You will have your game night as soon as we get a reliable, dedicated server. Yeah, it we'll, may, have a, we'll have a new, new time. It, 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 it may even happen by the time this episode goes up. I don't know. So, just. Yeah. yeah. So, what if we get the dedicated <laughs> server running? All right. We finally get that up. We say, all right, guys, come on. It's time. And it still doesn't work. <laughs> like, it gets oh DDoS. You know, like how it gets uh, Spotify and Reddit and like. Minecraft's Twitter login DDoS. system gets taken down or something. No one can log what into their account. What is DDoS, by the way? Uh, it's a denial of service denial attack. Of service. Denial of service. You basically overload Digital. something with so <laughs> much traffic that it can't handle it. Oh, yeah. wow. Like right now. It's with usually it's like, it's like a code yeah, right, that just kind of generates got traffic. Yeah, the Ruby Premier got delayed until 3 Central. <laughs> Got and heck, delayed. yesterday, it, it's grief. really weird timing, because yesterday when we unintentionally ddos that server, and really, there was no malicious intent. Um, shout out. Shout out to Blocky.me. Yeah, like, Twitter went down, Reddit went down, uh, Spotify went down, I think. There was a major DDoS attack yesterday, too. Like a malicious one, though. Did you yeah. guys hear about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. I was just talking about it. I mean, yeah. there, there was no malicious intent, although that we did generate quite a lot of spam in the co- in the uh, <laughs> chat. I mean, so. like, yeah, there wasn't like it wasn't malicious in the thing of, like let's ruin someone's day. No, but it was just to like, be we fair, just brought a bunch of. It just, was like a thing where we we're like, hey, we should all jump on some random server, which is technically kind of a DDoS. So, I mean, we were playing in the server, so it's no, not I'm like we're just trying to. Wasn't a DDoS. I'm just saying that, you know, we didn't we didn't mean to make someone mad. Yeah. Well. That was that. Yeah. So, just wanted to update. Wait, we actually made someone mad? No, not really. I mean, the guy came on and talked to us, but I'm sure he was kind of annoyed at the time. Yeah. Sorry, um, dude. I don't know your name, but if you guys want a fun Minecraft server to mess around on, blocky.me. Uh, it seemed like a cool server, except for the guy in God yeah. mode just massacring innocent people who weren't <laughs> griefing or whatever. We should really contact the that guy. We should class. be like, hey, man. <coughs> No one else seems to be helping us out, so... <laughs> yeah, I don't, know what, uh, I don't know what that... We'll give you deal. cash to make this happen. But, let's move on to perhaps... Yeah, we have a lot of stuff to talk the about. The biggest news oh boy. this week is the results of the Makuta Building Contest. Hey! So, they selected all the winners, although there was a little bit of a technical difficulty with Rebrick's uh, announcement page. <laughs> I don't even think that it's been posted yet on Rebrick. It was very, uh, very applicable for the general handling of Bionicle. It really just, was. Uh, <laughs> they couldn't even handle posting their results without issue. <laughs> so, it's like, of course something <laughs> went wrong. We've got, they, I guess the turnout was so great and the entries were so awesome, they added a lot more winners. So we have the winners that we were supposed to get prior and then a bunch of bonus winners. More so than yeah. they had initially planned Congratulations, on. VAR! Man, yeah. The yeah. 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 was so great they added a couple more years to it. The one, um, the only, the illustrious of our. <laughs> yeah, I was a bonus winner. Winner. Um, I do want to say a thank you to all the people that were sending congratulation messages to me. It was really, really cool, and I really appreciate it. Obviously, I haven't been able to uh, reply to every single one. My inbox kind of got <laughs> flooded, <laughs> but yeah. um, that well, I, I do appreciate special. it a lot. Um, well, yeah, I just wanted to make sure everybody knew <laughs> that I, I did see them, and I do really appreciate it. Yep. Um. As far as the uh, the winners, like, because like there was a delay when the winners were announced. Um, we, I, I was aware that I had won back in late sep, not September, it's like October first, I think, where I was finally given my email. Um, and the original winners were meant to be announced on the seventh, but it was delayed because there were some, I think, bonus winners and maybe a tier one winner that hadn't responded to the email just yet. So that's why it was delayed the first time. In case anyone was wondering that. Yeah. Um. 
So, <coughs> but it was a really cool contest. It was a good contest. What we're basically going to do here, we're going to run through the winners and we're going to give some thoughts on them. We may talk about some more than others, depending on how interesting we personally find them, but we want to at least mention uh, all the winners, because, like, before we even get into it, obviously, no matter our subjective thoughts on stuff, you know, we may prefer some mocks over others, we may not like certain aspects of certain mocks, I think everybody can unanimously say, you know, congratulations to all the winners and to all the people that entered, because I've seen a lot of people kind of getting a little dejected, like, oh, I put so much time into this Makuta Mach and I didn't win. And right. it's understandable uh, that a person would react that way. But what you got to keep in mind is, now that Bionicle's, like, gone again and the official material's dried up, like, mocking's always been an important thing in the community, but it's even more important now than ever before, the whole creativity aspect. <clears throat> so nothing, like, I tell people saying I wasted my time. Nothing you really do is ever wasted so long as yeah. you're contributing to the fandom. Like, I mean, I don't see it as a waste of time either, because, like, at least you entered and you had a uh -huh. chance and a shot yeah. at getting something. You would say that, winner. <laughs> yeah, well... I know, it's a little, it is a little, like, oh, cool, you know. <laughs> I, mean, I, was, I mean, I've, I've I entered... You don't need money It's like on Facebook happy. when a really hot girl's like, oh, you know, beauty doesn't matter. It's all on the inside. Yeah, it's easy something. for you to say. I didn't win the well, it comes up to you. Sure, but I was, I was also a bonus winner. It's not like I won tier one or anything. I was just randomly yeah. picked. Uh -huh. Sure, like I would sure. so, uh, the way the I mean, the way I see really it is in this <coughs> the way I see well, it is if you if you want the prize, the only way to get the prize is to enter. So if you wish that you really didn't waste your time to begin with, well, then there's a guarantee that you're not going to get that prize at all. Yeah. So you did you did your you best to get it. The moon, and, at least to land among the stars. Right, and Good and plug. you helped you helped promote <laughs> Bionicle for this last time. You joined in this community event. You got to participate with all these other people and have a fun time building your own creation of Makuta. It was a. Yeah. I I believe it's a good way to cap off Bionicle, and I think that was a. It was a and, fun time. Okay. I think and people are kind of missing the point of the contest. And yeah, it's exactly that. The point of the contest was to send Bionicle off. We didn't get one of those for G one, except for the stupid Who Is contest, That's trying so to figure out who that awful stars combination model was, <laughs> and it didn't even matter. This is an actual certifiable prize winning Wait, mocking contest. Who was it? Hmm. Who was? Who is it? I forgot Gardas. who it was. Gardas. Oh, right, right. Terrible. Right. Yeah. I know. Remember, there's another one. Uh, who is the great being? Yeah, that was also, that was also that stupid. Kind of contest. Equally terrible. Also Equally more terrible. so a Greg than Lego. But, well, I mean, yeah. I mean this is how, more how of us than Lego. How many people now are going to be able to get to say, I was part of the final Bionicle Lego contest? Thankfully, a lot of people, because the turnout seemed to be pretty nice, but well, I'm sure yeah, it's yeah, bigger. bigger. Over I mean, the turnout was so good that they... But before we get into the actual winners, I'd like to congratulate myself on my uh, twice in a row uh, loss. Biocraft <laughs> death? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to be quiet now. Ben, why? Thanks. Thank you, Ben. He wow. cut me off, so I'm happy Sorry. about that. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the turnout was so well that they actually increased the number of winners that they were going to give prizes to. So, I mean, the fact sure. that so many people entered increased the chances of winning. So, I mean, it was just a, it was a really cool contest. Yeah. It was a really cool contest. Lego may not have recognized the greatness that was Ultimate Omega Makutar, but, you know. I'll <laughs> yeah. try again. You know, another comment. <laughs> or, uh, or the, uh, what, what, the what was semi -gorgon. The semi-gorgon. <laughs> Didn't you guys not <laughs> even enter though? Yeah. I, it, it yeah. Okay, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> the last day Lego servers were borked because so many people were trying to enter that I kept trying to submit mine, and I guess it didn't go through. Yeah. Because I checked afterwards and it wasn't there. We entered like, in oh. our hearts. Wow. <laughs> we, sure, and you definitely win. lost in your hearts. Too. <laughs> Another <laughs> comment I'd, I did see regarding the contest that I don't actually agree with is a lot of people complaining about like Lego having their tendency to choose just giant bulky mocks with tons and tons of parts thrown into it with like giant collections of sets from AFOLs. I don't actually think that's applicable for this contest. Like That is definitely a Lego trope. And they did choose a couple that were, I, I would say, fit that mold a bit. But I would say, like, a, a, a good, decent portion of these submissions were pretty uh, pretty well-designed, pretty small-scale mocks that I think uh, aren't really these giant hulking abominations that people have a problem with. I think yeah, a lot of these like, are very sort accessible. Yeah, they're sort of more, like, the middle scale. Like, yeah. they're not, like, super tiny, right. but they're not all huge hulking things. Right. I, I think, like, part of the thing of the, the giant amount of parts comes from the fact that, like, a lot of times when people do that... They don't give a lot of uh, 
it doesn't go into complement the form it just shows a lot of like fake complexity like like kind of texture that's not really there because you're just putting stuff together i think that's what people dislike about the the yeah. huge builds of a ton of parts yeah, but most of the winners here are really well done right yeah exactly i think but, a lot of the, most of the winners here are like pretty well done in terms of the armor and the, yeah i think so too form. there's only really one mock of all these winners that i would say is kind of like one of those big messy moss mm-hmm. but even mm-hmm. then it, it's not even that it's not that it's bad. not that bad are, are we thinking about the same thing is it the tectonic we'll crawler? start with the tectonic yeah. crawler uh i'm not yeah. personally are we I'm, really going over all the winners we don't have to talk about them at length but i do want to okay. give each of them like some kind of recognition like okay. the tectonic crawler i'm not personally a big fan of but i can respect yeah. the construction mm-hmm. behind it for me yeah, like, it looks like a cool concept but like as a Makuta, it's kind of See, weird. Yeah. That is where the big problem lies for me when it comes to a lot of these submissions and a lot of the right. winners, is that they're really good mocks, but they just do not scream Makuta to me. And that was the whole mm-hmm. point of this competition. Yeah. For me, this is a good redesign Lord of Skull Spiders. Not only <laughs> was it the entire point, but it was mentioned in the conditions. Like every, There were like four quarters that you needed to satisfy. And like twenty five percent of this like coolness factor or creativity factor. Yeah. Well, twenty five percent, it has to be related to Makuta. It has right. to actually has be to relevant to the story feeling. Makuta. Very and true. And some of the winners are just not at all. One of them doesn't even have Makuta in the name. <laughs> Only a devourer of light. Yeah. We'll get to that one in a bit. We'll, we'll get to that one. This, we'll. I mean, Tectonic Crawler to me, it's a really, really impressive mock. I, I like the the build of it a oh, lot. Uh, <coughs> And I like the ideas that went with it, but it just, to me, it's really, it, it doesn't scream Makuta at all. It doesn't evoke that feeling to me, and also it's very G1 aesthetic that I'm not a big fan of either. It's just a, kind of a lot of parts yeah. sort of slapped together. Yeah. I can see this being a redesigned Barog, if anything. No, I mean, Barog I, again, or a Miserix, which I saw a lot. Or a Skull Spider. This is what it it's really what it kind of is. Been. It's like the... For me, just, being the nitpicky yeah. person that I am, the devil's in the details, and like I can respect this mock because of its build, but there's just these minor things that just nag at me. Like, why does he have six legs and two wheels on the front? Like, how does that like actually work? <laughs> like, how does that? Why not okay, just another two legs? Think, <laughs> I can't think of like any like any point, reason huh? why having two wheels. And six other legs would help you. Or like, if he's supposed know, to be a spider, why does do he anything? have like a scorpion emblem on like his back? It's like, what's uh, what's the deal with that? He's not a scorpion. He's like a spider. Oh. No, they're spider. both arachnids. But... Well, okay, so like, the wheels wouldn't help with traction, right? So, and they, they couldn't help him move at all. They couldn't like coast on the two legs or anything. Yeah, not, like huge wheels in the back. <laughs> it was probably just for stability, to be honest. But like, yeah. it's like those are less. Yeah, it, you know it, it what? Does the more go- I look at this mock, the more it's just fascinating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it really It is. does look good. Uh, to me, he's trying to climb stairs, and, like, the first, like, he tries to put it, but it's a wheel, so it slips, yeah, and he like, can't get up the stairs. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what is this, even? Ramps only. No, no, imagine he's trying to go down a ramp, and he keeps slipping out from under him, because his wheels are going fast, Yeah, the but his, his legs can't keep up. I don't like it. Or like the, the Jimmy the Stringer Hero Factory chess play, like the Hero Core. Like oh friends. yeah, I see that. Yeah. What is that? The H of He's the a hero too. So, He's some kind of hero. It's a, it's a good, good mock. mock, but there's a couple things. To it's, talk just about. It, it's just I mean, not a Makuta mock. It's just not a Makuta mock. You have the, like the Makuta G2 like horns coming from the side of the head, which I feel is like a basic like, thing. We're gonna drag this on. A little bit too much, unless we move on. Let's move yeah, on. Yeah, sure. We'll talk about Makuta Lord of Darkness by Pierre Artis. This was one of my... Mm. It was an interesting mock. I'm tempted to say it's one of my favorites, but there's a couple things that are like... Mm, this one's definitely missing. About it. <laughs> I, I like the ideas behind this mock a, a lot. Um, to me, though, the idea that he was trying to convey was better conveyed by other entries. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. that were very, there were very similar entries to this one that had smoother builds where pieces kind of fit together a little bit more. This one does, unfortunately, kind of suffer from that. Like the pieces are kind of slapped on look to it. Um, <coughs> but I mean, he's big. He's got some really cool proportions. He's got some cool ornamental things going on on, on his like, shoulder like. and his back. That makes and the, it the for mask me, of the creation's pretty cool crown there. Kind of a thing. Yeah. I'm a sucker for so, that I mean, stuff. <laughs> 
Th- I mean, this one at least is Makuta. I can confidently say that. So I think it's a good <laughs> yeah. mock. Yeah, the, the spikes on top really bother me. Really, yeah, the sword's it's, pretty it's, cool. It's really too, I think it gets really too spiky. It's it's really messy for me. Fair enough. I kind of like, I like the much. spikes. What do I know. Oh, it might have been the posing for me. I feel like <coughs> if he had his hands like up, you know, like he's like praising the sun or whatever, and the spikes are coming out, it might have added to that form a lot more. The, the, my thing but now it just looks like, like it's like a headdress that's coming out from the back. Yeah, and it, I don't know. There's there's not really a uh, like it doesn't it doesn't look like they're properly arranged. It just kind of looks like they're tacked on there. Yeah, probably are. Really probably know. are to be honest. Probably just so sitting that's up why there. I'm like, eh, not really feeling that. That it's kind of messy. The whole, the whole aesthetic of the mock looks a little messy. It's understandable. Yeah, and I feel like parts of it. Again, I've always been a fan of mocks that look like action figures. They look like this, a lot smoother and have like clear proportions. No, this is very clear, like a, a more. Uh, this is built blocky, up with pieces. Yeah, construction yeah. kind of thing. So it makes me think of a Warhammer 40k aesthetic. Yeah, it kind of has that. Mm. Yeah, I, I, well, yeah. I, I, see that. I like 40k. So, yeah. Fair. I, I, I hate seeing is, the. Uh, <laughs> to me, it's a personal pet peeve whenever I see like mask used as armor because yeah. I just can't see anything but that mask of creation on his yeah. knees. Yeah, I like it when it's oh, armor used on the that. side. When it's used from the front, it's distracting because I can see the eye holes. But like yeah. I've seen yeah. people put stuff as shoulder armor and it works fine. On the side, but I don't know. Yeah. The next right, one well. has got a little bit of controversy behind. Yeah, it. this one, <laughs> this one, bit. I don't know how to feel about. It's made by a member on our boards. Uh, he used to have a mock called Dionysus, I believe, that you did a mock spotlight mm-hmm. on, Vin. And then yeah. I, he posted his stuff on the message boards about it. It ended up getting like taken apart. I forget by who. I think his little brother, maybe, or something. I, I forget the exact story. So he took the mock contest as an excuse to rebuild the mock. And then enter it into the Makuta contest, and there are some differences. It's not a carbon copy. Of his no, he version. he reworked it quite a lot, but the basic structure is the same, and it's a character yeah. that wasn't intended to be Makuta. It's just some random mock that he put a gold chain and two gold armor pieces onto a giant mega purple cloth cape, which I didn't even think you That's were blue, allowed not purple. to do. Blue, fine, whatever. I didn't think that was allowed, or else I would have done it. Purple. <laughs> and, it's uh, blue, shut up. It's gold blue. You know, call Shush. it Machuda. <laughs> and it's kind of like, people don't know how to feel about that. I'm not that bothered by it. I kinda I'm kind of. i not that bothered by it either. But, like, not so much anymore, because it's a cool mock. But it does feed into the whole doesn't look like Makuta, because it's not Makuta. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And it, do, it does yeah. bug me a little bit that he reworked a previously existing mock, but it's only a little bit, like... The 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 mocker himself, or the mockist himself is a really cool guy, so I don't mind it too much. And like, obviously, this mock is very impressive. It's huge. It's got yeah. some really good proportions, and it looks really sturdy and stable. It and that's something so that's stable. really hard to accomplish with a large scale. Especially mock like this. yeah, on, on one of this size, and especially like for me, it's the torso construction and how smooth that looks. Yeah, the way he used the plates on the torso looks amazing. I really love the forearms. <laughs> Like the four, I, the, had this been a build really... a bionicle villain contest, there I wouldn't have even like thought twice about it. But I mean, it's just heck, because it's a, that's supposed how to be Makuta. That's where he entered it. <laughs> You're right, huh? Didn't he enter yeah. it in like? Wait. Yes, he did. He entered well, the he last one in that back then. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we found out about oh, it. Come on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, if you had a little mock annoying. at that it's not scale, you'd probably want to reuse it. I mean, it. well, it's not good anymore. Zero out of ten. I mean, look, there to be. To be fair, yeah, there's no, like, requirement that says this must be original No, in fact, they did say that you were allowed to enter an old mock so long as it wasn't posted anywhere before. Wow. Uh, No, 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 they didn't specify posting. They said so long as it wasn't entered before. Yeah, and technically this wasn't because they rebuilt it. Right, I mean... It's by a technicality, but it... It's it's one of those things where it's like, where do you draw that line? He technically did take it back and reworked it. The fact that it looks like one of his mocks just might be his style. And but it, it is it also, is different. It is very different. So. To, but like realistically, though, he did take and just improved on his design a little bit, and then put a purple cape on it, and I was like, "This is Makuta." <laughs> All right, yeah. he didn't even say sure. it was Makuta. It's just no. I'm he sorry, didn't right. even I, call it Makuta. It's not, <laughs> it's not Makuta. It's I mean, the at least he's not lying to us. No. The next mock we should probably move to is Makuta by Bionicle Bud. I don't have too much to say here, other than the mask. 
is like man this one looks it's fat. like top notch yeah it's like that mask I, I imagine that, that like deserves to win like just by itself yeah but yeah it's so creepy looking but this like, one in an the eerie build, sort of way yeah it, it is really creepy I'm getting a serious minotaur vibe out of this I feel thing. like in the what was it the cursed realm what was it the shadow realm shadow realm yeah uh, the shadow right. realm when Makuta was banished to the shadow realm it only had McDonald's <laughs> oh my God. He spent the last thousand or so years. I don't know how long Makuta has been there, but he just—he was like, "Well, there's nothing to eat here. Might as well chow down in this burger, this Big Mac." And he came out like this. I, really I like, like the, the bigger works. aesthetic. I, I like the sort of fatter aesthetic of it. I think it works really well. I like um, it because it's unique. Most people, yeah, picture same. Makuta yeah. Is like super slim to, there, but it looks nice. To me, the only thing where this mod kind of suffers is just the build itself doesn't really have like the best shaping. Yeah. Um, so like, wow, like I just noticed the infected how. Yeah, I know. Good, good, is, good touch, is, huh? Mm, yeah, that yeah. is a good detail. I love, I good love de- the I chest. Don't like it. Oh, you don't? No, I, mm. I just now realize it, and it looks so out of place to me. Yeah, yeah I mean, to, to me, yeah, I, 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 I don't see it. I don't it see it as really a bit. Tacky too. I don't see it as armor. I see it as him just having an infected mask on his That's side. That's what it like, is. He doesn't belt. have one on the other side. It's just hanging off on a chain. Oh, like, it's hanging. Yeah, it's for him to use. Makuta has the chain as well. Oh, yeah, okay. it's for him to infect bad. other people with. It's yeah. not armor. Um, I thought it was just a piece of. Okay, so that's different. I can't. So take to me, I, I really like this set, though. I, I think to me, it, it looks like something out of Dark Souls, and that that's yeah, really that's cool. Yeah, that's true. Um, I, I did get that vibe from it. I like. I, I, I like this mock a lot. To me, I think this one is one of my favorites out of the tier one winners. It's mm-hmm. probably the one I would have chosen to be a tier one winner. Because I don't know, I just I just really like the, the the overall image of it. I think that it kind of suffers in the build category, but the actual just like concept of it just looks really cool. It's funny be because fair. I would say this is one of my least favorites out of all of these. Yeah. To be honest. fair, it did. I think this actually did get upgraded to tier one with like all the other lower tiers. Well, yeah, yeah, no, it, 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 it does is say tier one, one winner on, uh, on yeah. the yeah. Facebook. Page, it's so. deserving. I, just saying, I like it better than a lot chosen. of the other options. So. Shout out yeah. to you, dude. You did good. The next one is Makuta the Cursed One by Fused Trima. This is a weird mod. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this one at all. I I actually do, but maybe not for this It content. reminds me of Gurren Lagann. Yeah, that's what the vibe I get. There was another mock too, that reminded me of that, with the full face in the chest. Except I think that one pulled it off a bit better. Although, I do gotta give credit where credit is due. The whole mouth right here is like top notch yeah. I just don't think like it works for this particular contest like the whole Makuta yeah, see, thing yeah it's I a, don't think so either it's a neat mock and I like the idea with the mouth and the chest plate I, I saw another mock that did something very similar to that that I believe Vin did a mock spotlight yeah, on that's recently what I, was thinking of. I feel like that one was handled a, a little bit better personally Um, this one still looks cool but it's so it's so weird that there's a face in his torso that it, it doesn't seem like something that would ever be in Bionicle. No. And then the whole the upper con- legs look super bulbous or whatever with that. Uh, yeah, I don't like the, 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 yeah, the, the upper legs. The upper legs look really bad. I do love the scythe, though. It looks yeah, like that's all right. amazing. Is really the scythe is really good. On point. That is a good sight. Really good. I like the lower legs. I like the arms, actually. I, I don't know. The, shoulder the shoulders armor. and the the upper thighs are what gets it for me. It's too much armor. Yeah. That armor just oh, no, takes like away the, completely. The shoulder armor pulls it off a little bit better. Yeah. I think the shoulder it does fine. pull it off a little better, but, but like the skull grinder or what is skull? Yeah, the skeleton, skeleton armor piece. Skeleton, skeleton armor pieces? Armor on the... <laughs> no. Yeah, nah. Another element of this mock I really like is the face, like the actual face. The face is good. It looks yeah, creepy. Yeah, That's very cool Sauron so looking. Cool. For me, it's not it's cool. so much like it's a poorly designed mock. It's just when, it, when you add everything together, it looks out of place, almost. Which yeah. may have yeah. been why LEGO chose it, because it is unique and original, so it does deserve credit for that. Also, all that but, gun metal. Yeah, all the gun oh metal, I'm not a fan. Sure. It ends up looking very dull. Yeah. It's all the, dull metal. <laughs> I also like while I love the head design a lot. It does feel, and it might be a result of the way the, f- the photograph was taken, but it, the head just looks really, really large and tall. It doesn't seem to really fit the proportions of the actual mock itself. Yeah. And then like just the general pose of the mock itself is just kind of awkward. Just kind of standing like, there. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't really know why his scythe is behind yeah, that's, his legs. That was odd. Well, I guess they didn't want and to why the scythe is the bending like that. And, yeah, I guess. I well, don't know. So, uh, 
Yeah, let's move on to the next one. Break the next one was my personal, okay. like, favorite out of all the Yeah, this, this, this is what I'm glad favorite. I saw one. Because this is the one. Yeah. Makuta the Mask Breaker. This is the one yeah. mock I saw that I was like, yeah, that one's going to win. And I'm glad it did. It deserves it. Every single element of this mock works together in the whole. The torso really with the does. layering of the lost legs and stuff and that Ninjago piece. The mask especially. That thing is an intricate, like, mm. so cool. top-notch so thing. Awesome. The legs, not the strongest part of the mock, but they still work together just fine. Well, I feel like they, they do bring together a form, which is what I always like about the mocks. Like, it, it looks like an action figure proportion kind of thing. The thighs yeah. are nicely proportioned from, like, you know, from, to like, tapering down yeah. um now the the lower leg is a little a little sketch i'll give you that but like then the feet i feel really we pull it together, it together. So. and then the arms too like i don't the arms i don't give good. them enough credit because they kind of flow together so well it's like i almost don't even notice them but that's a credit to the mock like if you yeah. look at the upper arms how they have all that layering of like those small scale parts it all works together and i don't know it looks how. so smooth i don't know how people mock like this it's what i like to call the retinant mm. style because he's who i'm most familiar <laughs> I, with i would love using to see it. like i would love to see like someone who makes these kind of mocks like t i take it apart or show them building it together yeah. like because i don't know how like, do some they of these do things it? i'm like yeah how do these things fit together i have honestly no idea where to start and like how to like to think creatively when it comes to that. I'd well, love to see someone take First you take a piece them. and then you sell your soul. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's always Sad been a dream of mine to, to like learn how to mock in this mm -hmm. way. But oh, I thought it was always a dream to like, sell your soul. Almost like it's a yeah. sculpture, you know? Like a like it's I like stuff that look like it's not made out of bionicle parts. Yeah. Those are my favorite kind Some of parts things. do have bionicle influence, but stuff like the mask and the inner workings of the body and the upper arms, it's just like it, it, I wouldn't know that it was bionicle. If I didn't uh, know the individual pieces, so yeah, I love it. <laughs> I don't know what else there is to say. Yeah. Like it's, it's yeah. probably one the of only my thing I think that like that looks a little uh, out of it. I feel like the mock would work better is if we took off the mask on the hands. Mm. I feel like that's a bit too clunky, and it, it like it takes away from the form of the hands. And I actually feel like having you know the gold plating on the outside of the arms is great, but if he just had that and tapered down to like the the really nice hand, uh, which is like kind of sharp and elegant. That yeah. would be way better as opposed to like having this kind of clunky ish piece. It doesn't look bad in the other hand because it's like facing away from us, but with in that picture that we're looking at right now. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it might just be for, I feel like a coloring might have been the reason behind that or something. I just yeah, that's like a right. nice spot for a gold too. color. That doesn't make sense. Well, so but I, I just maybe just a different mask or something. Anybody else? No. All I'll right. Next one. Well, that's all the tier one winners. Those are the main winners that I believe receive every G2 set and the art book. And now we'll briefly go over the bonus winners who only get Yeah, we don't really book. need to go into full detail Not with the a bonus lot of winners, detail, but... but just quick shout outs. There's He Who Binds the Shadows, Terry467. This, this one's really is... cool. Suffers from its entry pick. This entry pick is not a good one. I just posted a far, far better picture of this model. Yeah. You can actually get to that's... see all the Okay. Oh, yeah, that's. All right. Ooh, that's really yeah. Cool. Yeah. Now it's the way cooler. Pick. So that this looks so awesome. Cool. I like that better than some of the this, tier one winners. This should have been a tier one w winner. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, it should have replaced Fat Makuta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really. I don't know about that. Maybe give. I don't agree. Maybe give no, this. I, I maybe, agree. Maybe, I totally maybe, agree. If maybe this mock had had the mask that that other Makuta had, I would have been all over it. But yeah. Uh, that mask though. too good. I actually right. really like the head on this one. I mean, yeah, it looks I good. I'm not saying it's not a good head. It's just like I, if it had I had that other mask at control, it would have been a shoe in for me. I like the sort of Black Panther necklace it has going on. Totally. Yeah. The next bonus winner okay. is Makuta the Traveler by Melty Two, and this is another one that suffers okay. from the whole. Does it look like Makuta? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this, I mean, uh, this is a bonus winner, so I can't say too much. But uh, yeah. what? <laughs> It's like, oh, all right. So someone's like, I feel like someone's like, oh man, oh the contest is up. Uh, hey, where's my self mock? Where's okay? <laughs> just gonna enter that in. Envy put it best when he was like, this looks like somebody I'd see just PVPing in Dark Souls. Like, this <laughs> yeah, <and> somebody <laughs> looks like a, <laughs> looks a like red phantom armor. appears and invades me, and then it would be this guy doing ninja flips and then <laughs> killing me in one hit. <laughs> Literally nothing That's here looks that. like Makuta. Cool mock. Like a, cool mock. An, an Asian katana but, sword. <laughs> yeah, it's like, and he has like horns, I guess, and like he honestly doesn't even look like a villain. He looks like a hero. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like a mysterious guy. Yeah, like, double like, agent. It looks mysterious like traveler maybe. you'd find, hence the name. Yeah. <laughs> right. Then we have Makuta Sin Pterodax by Soji Gakari. Thunder Thighs. <laughs> the Thunder Thighs Pterodax. That's is basically the only thing I have to say about the mob. Godzilla Pterodax. I'm not. <laughs> it looks like a dragon. I'm not that big of a fan of it, but I respect what it did, and I do think it deserves its place. I think it deserves to be a bonus winner. Boys There's and something girls, about the Thunder Thighs that I have leg day. There's something about the Thunder Thighs that I actually really like. It, it just reminds me of something very like reptilian like godzilla or something or a dragon to me it looks really cool cool but um, i mean if that's the kind of motif they were going for then it works well yeah. i think i don't like, know if that's what they were going for or not so i can't really not, say it. I, 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 I like the thighs it. i feel like the thighs are disproportionate to the rest of the body that's my yeah thing. if yeah. the body I'm, I'm not, the upper body and the shoulders were bulkier then i'd be like all right this looks really cool but it just looks like a guy who just does you know Leg lifts at the gym. Leg that's day all he and does. Nothing but leg yeah, day. he just goes. He's like, "Oh, it's a leg day. I'm gonna make up for everyone who skips leg day." And he just goes and like, you know, it's a leggy year for him. Well, props to him in that leg case. Year. Yeah. <laughs> the next, next one, one is Makuta Umbral Wyvern by Nose Goblin, and this is not this even a wyvern. One, this one I also not even suffers. Close to being a wyvern. This one also suffers from a bad entry pick. I've also posted another picture that would have been a better one to to be to put up. I went through pick, such but... a crazy roller coaster ride of emotions at this mock because I did not like it one bit when I first saw it, and then I actually went and looked at the dude's bookshelf gallery, and uh, a lot better in those other pictures because he has the whole thing where the arms fold down and disguise themselves. I wouldn't say like, I wouldn't say it's not even close to being a wyvern. I feel like it's, not it's a just missing the wings. Not a wyvern. It's, it's missing not the a wings. Wyvern. It's missing the wings. And that's about it. No, no, no. 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 Don't. Do you not no, know what a wyvern is? Far. It's not a wyvern. It's a, isn't it a two-legged dragon? It's a dragon, dragon, if anything. No. A wyvern... I okay, mean, difference between a dragon and a It looks a like a minotaur. A dragon has like... four legs and then wings on its back. A wyvern, its four arms are its legs like a bat. Yeah, this, the arms from the wings. This is, if anything, like a... You know what? I'm going to... For future reference, I'm going to link you to this guide on dragons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dragons and other similar creatures. It goes over dragons, worms, wyverns, drakes... All right. So I mean, but but it is missing. Let's get that like, it's the missing next the arms and the wings, right? It That's has arms missing. though. It has it four has arms. arms. The arms. It can't be a wyvern. Wings. Yeah. All right. Yeah, wyverns so, only have two yeah. limbs yeah, and two wings. This is like a wyvern. It's not even like a dragon. It's just very there are monstery. No in Skyrim. I'm in love with all the intricate shaping and like the the way the torso is kind of folded back and whatnot. Thank you, Takuma. up and the six arms and like it just looks great. It's actually one of my favorites in the contest. It's one of my favorites, but no, I'll agree with you. You're right. Then yeah, we have this garbage mock from you know some random dude. You know, it's too generic. Oh yeah, this one's I hate this one. Too generic. Makuta the Mad King by Bardarian. The Mad King, like, really, dude, was his Game yeah, of Thrones? Get out of here. Ryan Haywood would be so a mad about hard. being 30 pieces <laughs> of silver, dude. What's Judas? he so mad about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure, uh, I think uh, Makuta Victory should have won over this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, what about my Chibi Makuta? That one was obviously a winner. This box is great because I like how it appears simple. But if you actually look at it, there is a lot of intricacy contained within, just not in the limbs. But, like, well, not all the limbs. The upper legs are great. Lower legs are simple but great. The torso is, like, it's got a very unique shape to it. And the arms, while they are fairly standard, the hands are what sell it home. I remember you went through a lot of trouble. Yes. I already you going through a lot of things. Mock. And I will, but they and work. Like, it paid off because, honestly, I feel like had you not done everything with the hands... I feel like it, the mock would have lost a lot of its character. Mm -hmm. And part Honestly, of it, too, what you did here, um, this is one of my, like, honestly speaking, like, straight up, this is one of my favorite entries. And I, I said, I know that comes off as biased, oh, but, like, I'm the, really impressed with the chair more than The anything. chair, like, Yo. it's the character. I mean, the thing about, like, you versus a lot of the other people, almost everyone else in this contest, no one gets the character of Makuta. Yeah, this, this you, definitely like, has a lot of In character. this presentation, you presented not just the great mock and the throne, but the character of Makuto is there. It's very looking apparent at the, mask, who it's the way he's to be. sitting. Right. He looks like a mad tyrant. You know, and I feel like that sells it way better. It's the best Makuta out of all these mocks. I mean sure, it's okay. But we all know the real reason he won. It's cause he's popular. 
Of course. Right, exactly. Because people yeah. saw his username that's nothing like his actual yeah. <laughs> username. <laughs> 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 like, obviously speaking. I'm I'm Makuta the, the Mad King mean? by Rus- Lusty Rusty Var. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone is just like, well, he got away with that username. Huh. Down no, no. You know what, Kai? No, I disagree. I honestly think his name is a part of it. It's Var. We know that Var is... That's Not just the a winning name. Not the for variable in programming, okay. actually. It's just it a winning name. He wins all, all sorts of things. He won this contest. <laughs> he won that, that 2009 Hero Factory contest. I'm pretty sure he's LeVar Burton at this point. Yes. LeVar Burton. Next. Says Var. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> the last... <laughs> Wait, what? LeVar Burton? Shut Does up. he win a lot of contests? <laughs> I mean, he Go l- away. wins life. So. I like my model. The next one's pretty wow. cool, too. The next one wasn't actually part of the initial uh, batch of winners. It was added later on. G2 Makuta by Chubby Bots. Okay, I'm, ass- this I'm assuming, is, this, I'm assuming this one was one of the people that hadn't responded right away because he was mm-hmm. added after the fact. Yeah. But, um, this, very this is what Fat Makuta should have been like. Yeah. He doesn't come off as Fat Makuta. He comes as a bulky Kingpin Makuta. King, yeah, like yeah, yeah, King yeah, or something. Yeah, he's definitely got like this Kingpin. Are those supposed to be yeah, wings no, like, coming really off like of him? Like, oh no, no okay. Oh, so, so this one, this one's really, really cool. Actually, he actually implements a Unity feature like the Toa do. Oh, the, oh really? That that thing on the back of him, it's a it's a completely separate creature. Oh, no so I'll, I'll po- hold up. I gotta, I'll, I'll, I'll post the gallery right. real quick. The other yeah, yeah. picture, I see it oh on the Rebrick page. Gosh. That's awesome. Yeah, so you can see what he looks like with and without it. It's like a scorpion creature. It's really, really well done. I that love is this amazing. model. Is really cool. The creature's okay. kind of meth looking, but the fact that it actually connects is like really cool. Better than oh, Katar. I, I, I think the, the creature's way better looking better, than Katar. Better scorpion than Katar. <laughs> One thing I'm a little, wait. That creature looks really creepy. One thing I'm a little a, uh, curious about is, is the mask of creation chip. supposed to be facing straight down like that, or yeah. is that just meant to be dramatic? <laughs> I don't know, man. It does look kind of strange. Or Master Control. I think it's, meant to, control. I think yeah. it's meant to be yeah. dramatic. Because it looks like it's capable of, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah so that's the case. Yeah. Cool. There's not. There's nothing blocking the ball joint from the. back. Yeah, if you look at the, there's one showing it from the back. He can totally move that head up. I think. He okay, just cool. Makes it look down to be dramatic. Yeah, it's just. For What's effect. actually really cool to me is not just the, like it forms wings, which is kind of cool. It also form, forms the weapons for him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's, a, cool. there's a picture of him. And like it the, doesn't. It doesn't it limit the articulation either. Right. Man, like it's that really is so like this. awesome. This is, so, this is such a cool concept. Okay, now I that know I know I that, that this mock has this mock has gone man. like much farther up in my uh, in yeah, my wow. list. I like absolutely love this. One. I like this better than the Mad King. Wow. <laughs> I mean, uh, no, I don't. <laughs> That's okay. You can. That's totally fine. I'd, um. So here's what's gonna happen. Right, I'm gonna take down your spotlight. I'm gonna replace it with a new one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, okay. The yeah, of Makuta I, I, continues on. I absolutely love this model. This is one of my favorites. I would have made this a tier one winner. Yeah, definitely. Honestly, I feel like I feel like they should be switched. I feel like I like a lot of the bonus winners a lot better than some of the tier one yeah. winners. In fact, most mm-hmm. of the tier one winners, if I'm being bonus honest. Bonus ones seem to do a better job of being Makuta. Yeah. That was, mm-hmm. like, yeah. It's almost like, you know, like, like I chose the, the big ones just to, like, on a scale of, like, how much they did with it how much of like just a cool mock it was and then they chose up the bonus ones like but this really looks like makuta so we have to make it a bonus one either way those are all the mocks for the makuta building contest uh once again i just want to congratulate everybody uh, on entering and you know people that didn't win i understand you may be sad but you help part you you help make the bionicle community what it is you're a part of it too so don't get too discouraged keep mocking and keep sharing your uh, your stuff. Speaking of Wallow contests, in misery along with me. Let's Speaking go ahead yeah. and get into our yeah, second let's, topic let's for the day. We may not right. talk about this too much because we're going to run a little long. We're going to see what happens. We'll see where the conversation Before goes. Before we even get into this, just know we don't know concretely anything. This isn't related yeah. to us. <laughs> this is related to other people. What we know is what we're going to share with you word for word and what's going to be posted in the description below. You can draw your own conclusions just as we will. <laughs> but <clears throat> Can I translate that? Sure, for, go for it. For those who may not understand. Okay. What's up, Drama and Alert Nation? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Killer Killer Messina. Messina. <laughs> 
<laughs> let's get <laughs> raw. Oh, oh, right, let's talk about some drama. <laughs> so, all right. Here's what happened. Well, continue. Yeah. Uh, so we were on. Uh, what am I saying? We were on Reddit reading some posts. And we saw a certain post because people were getting into a discussion, the tried and true topic of large scale mocks, and should you put different size brackets into contests or whatever. There were t- Happens every contest. Every contest, LJ every got time. into a huge discussion about it at the start of the Makuta contest. Discussion is not what I would call that. And there is an sure. argument there. You took on 4chan, <laughs> that's what I'll say. <laughs> I, see, I, don't, I don't like <laughs> saying that because I don't want to make the individuals on 4chan mad. Yeah. So I will say I took on individuals that disagreed with me severely. This is true. And they took, they found what I said while it was incredibly harsh. Um to be quite offensive, which is fine. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. But I stand by it, and I'm not taking anything I said back. Fair enough. The discussion... I'm actually... It, like, if I were in a better mood, I would probably be really smug about the winners of this contest, because some of them are really large, overly complex, and that's exactly what I wanted from the outset of the contest. But continue. Well, okay, but, like, can, let's can, also be th- fair, this though. Is an, let, let's go ahead and get into the topic. Yeah. The discussion that's being had right here is about uh, large-scale mocks. In specific, one gets mentioned way back when, back when dinosaurs roamed the Earth and G2's hype was still in its infancy. There was a thing called the Battle for the Golden Mask Contest. Which was the very first one. It was to build the best villain you possibly can to win the Golden Skull Spider Mask. Well, Roa McToa's mock Akutan won. And I, it was always kind of... It got lukewarm reception from people. I remember we were very uh, very moderate about our appraisal of it as well. Because, well, I mean, look at it. It's a very huge, well-engineered, well-constructed mock. But there's a lot of awkward looking stuff to it it's, it looks like a michael bay transformers thing it's very messy that's, that's a great description it doesn't have visual honestly. cohesion uh except in some areas uh and that's not to say yeah. nobody liked it you know a lot of people were huge fans of it and obviously you know lego liked it but i don't reception was always a bit mild i didn't like it either well here's a post from dvd also known as dv patrick biggs from bz power BZ Power Moderator. Uh, right? I'm going to throw the post up in the video. Blog Leader, actually, I think. Blog Leader, yes. I'm going to throw the <laughs> post in the video because I don't feel like reading it word for word, but basically I'll read one paragraph of the thing. He says, That said, uh, she also knew about the contest beforehand and was in closed-door discussions with the LEGO group who we helped plan the contest with, but separately from us. What he means by that is there was a group of people who were aware that Bionicle was returning beforehand. And we're helping plan the contest and the NYCC panel, and they knew about the mock contest as well. Roa was also in the know, but separate from that group. And then he goes on to say, when three of us were sent prototype pre-production parts to try and drum up excitement and show off the new pieces in the community, she was also sent those parts, but separately. We were told that she was working on a mock for them on her own for their own purposes. It's not too far a leap to think she was picked to win before the contest began, and I'm not super cool with that either. Either. So, backstory. <laughs> DV got a lot of uh, prototype pieces and also just G2 pieces in general, alongside uh, the other two people who got the parts were Retinence and Kakaru. And then Roa was sent these parts separately. Parts he was sent, as you can clearly see in the video, ton of pieces from G2. Every mask, new armor shells, new bones, some exclusive colors that you can't get elsewhere, like silver Pohatu boomerangs and yellow Gatling gun pieces. Dozens upon dozens of exclusive hows that were given, I mean, masks of fire <laughs> that were given away in various ways. He, he, he also has some prototype hows that aren't going to be released to the public. The kind of transparent orange melded with solid orange ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see those He's got too. those, too. Mm. And that, this is not to say that Roa received all these same pieces, but it would stand to reason that she that probably she did. she likely did. <laughs> yeah, she probably yeah. did. So We know at least thing... she received the prototype uh, Pohatu pieces because she uses a ton of them on her mock. She uses, like, six just everywhere. Yeah. So here, here's the issue here. here. Here's the big problem that this post sort of kind of paints a picture of because like there was it, we already knew that Roa McToa had pieces that were not widely available to everybody used in her mock that won this contest yeah that's not news to us some other people had some prototype parts as well it's like it's kind of whatever the issue here in aligns with the fact that um 
Lego center a set amount of parts. We don't know how much. We don't know what the parts specifically were. But they sent her parts with the sole intent of having her make a model out of those parts to help promote the line. The issue is that mock that Lego basically paid her to make was then used to enter into this contest, which Lego then picked her as the winner and gave her the grand prize. So, as DV points out in this <laughs> post, she was basically picked to win the contest before the contest was even out. Well, okay, hold up. To be fair, though, is this this is the villain contest that was, like, last year, right? Yes. Just to be clarification. Didn't that have to go through several voting uh, things? On it did, sites? indeed. Okay, so she there was a point where Lego could not control if she won, like just say some other mock won the BZ Power con. I'm assuming this is was on BZ Power. Hold up, the BZ Power winner. I forget how the judges Hold were up. handled. I believe. Oh wait a there, second. It wasn't. I think it was. I don't believe it was public voting. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. There, it, wasn't. Yeah. Were, it was there judges. Was, okay, there was, it was a judges. Lot of was judges. Like, judges. I remember this. Yeah. Yeah. Judges and, from each individual site who then picked their winners, which they sent on to Lego. Yeah, and, and then Lego right, chose the final winners. Right, but I mean, what I'm getting at is that there is some level where Lego could not control. Like, if they said we want you to win before this contest begin, there is some element where they are. No, not no, no, no. It, it's not. It's not so much sensitive. that they they handpicked Roman Tola to be the winner as much as they funded her ability to win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the the argument that I've gotten into on our message boards and against some certain individuals on 4chan was that I don't believe that having access to parts that are not widely available, that were not mass-produced, I don't think that gives you any particular edge. When it is in a case where Lego is personally sending a mock yeah. to pieces that either A, haven't been released yet, or B, will not be released, then it changes things when they enter a contest exactly. and win an incredibly valuable one-of-a-kind prize. Exactly, and especially when you don't changes. know the amount of parts she was sent. For all exactly. we know, half that mock could have been sent to her. Yeah. Exactly. Which well, I don't believe, but, you know. I mean, presumably, I mean, they sent G2 pieces, so uh, I don't know how much of... Like, that was one of our complaints, honestly, like, talking about the the mock, is that it seemed to be almost too G1-focused. Yeah. It didn't feel like it, w it was... From used what to, I can you know, see, it uses G2 12 parts G2 stuff. parts that are at least yeah. outwardly visible. And, but right. they are so big outwardly and visible, yes. Yeah. But Roa Matoa has very complex interiors for her mom. That's that true. That is very time, true. And we really we do not know, know what kind of pieces she was sent. And as far as I'm aware, there are some very specific axles. I think we pieces. have a good idea. <laughs> well, some, there's the, always the possibility she was sent pins and axle pieces, which are very yeah, specific course. and much more recent part. That yeah, would be a very mind, new advantage. Keep in mind, DV is. He most of his his um, uses of those parts were giveaways and photography of the actual pieces themselves. Mm -hmm. Roa was sent her pieces for the sole purpose of mocking with them. We have no clue how many pieces she was sent. Yeah. Now the thing right. that's interesting to note here, if if I understand this correctly, she was the intent was to make a mock to advertise the contest. If I'm not mistaken. We don't, I mean, we, we don't the, know. We don't know. That's the big we, thing. We, I mean, okay, do okay. we know why Retinant and Kakari were also sent were pieces? Sent, to promote the line. Yes. Uh, that's all. The to, they, to build they a mock mockers. using the pieces and to and to post it online they, for people to see and want the parts. So obviously, like, I wanted them to advertise and show off the cool new things you can do with the parts. But the fact that Roa was sent the parts separately from the that whole initiative and then made the mock that won the contest implies that there was a different purpose. Or rather, mm -hmm. the same purpose, just applied differently. Because I don't believe DV entered that contest. He may have. I forget. I don't remember. I'm not going to say one way or the other. But he certainly didn't win. Roa did. And here's really the big deal. I've never spoken to Roa McTow personally. I'm not going to, like, accuse her out of nowhere of, like, colluding or whatever because I have no proof. You know? Yeah. It's like, no, what we really I mean, knows. it's really important to remember it's that all, this like, this is all, all coming secondhand. The important right. thing, though, is that when you look at all this, there's no real good, like, even if she didn't know she was going to win, and even if there wasn't collusion with Lego, it doesn't look good <laughs> when a mockist is sent exclusive pieces to make a mock beforehand explicitly by Lego, and then enters and wins the grand prize. There's no way you can spin that to make it look good. There's ways you can spin it to say oh, it was coincidence, or an accident. Yeah, and it... it 
but it's also important to know that not only was she sent the pieces ahead of time, not only was she given the pieces to specifically make a mock by Lego to promote their line, she also knew about the contest beforehand as well. So she had a lot of time in advance to make this mock, this giant construction, with the parts given to her by Lego before the contest was even announced for other yep. people to enter. Well, okay, do, huge advantage. Do we know? Okay, do we know that she knew about the contest? Is yes, that ever said DB in the explicitly post? says that she was in okay. closed door discussions with Lego about the contest beforehand. Yeah, she knew about the contest. This is. I guess she like, wasn't the I only wanna... one that knew about the contest either. Let's right. be honest here. Yeah. No. I mean, like, I feel like the the important thing to take away is not to like start a witch hunt or to do something against an individual person, but to open a discussion as to is this an kind of an ethical thing to do when it comes to contests. Right. Is this scenario where Lego is sending pieces to Marcus who know about the contest they're going to do and therefore built a mock using those pieces that would go on to win said contest, which is decided directly by Lego. Is there some sort of like, you know, ethical dissonance going on here? Is there, there like a thing where Lego is. could have like definitely possibly is. done it's something? Just, and if they did, what's their, what are the implications of that? I mean, are I the can, contest, should they be reworked? I'm just spitballing be... theories. I've said it in the past when we were talking about the other contests or whatever. Lego doesn't, if I were to guess, Lego doesn't care too much about proper, you know, contest protocols. They're using the contest as a marketing tool. And it works to their benefit if they have amazing mocks that people can point to and be like, this is what you can do with the new system. That's their primary goal. So whatever they can do to make that happen, <laughs> they will do. Like, Akutan right. is a, you know, whether you like it, the aesthetic or not, it's a masterpiece of engineering. It's an ultimate mega scale construction mock. And it works to their advantage if something like that wins because they can use that to be like, hey, these are all the new Bionicle parts. They can use it as promotion and marketing and stuff and just drum up hype for it. If I were to guess, that would be what I would say. And I mentioned that with the Makuta contest as well when people were talking about, like, is it right to use prototype parts? It's like, should Lego allow this? And I'm just like, Lego doesn't care. Lego is not in the business of arbitrarily limiting the creativity aspect of their contests or putting stuff into weight brackets or size brackets just to make it more fair. They don't. I don't think they particularly care about that stuff. And an so, okay, argument this, could be made that they should, but I don't think they do. This this only goes. This only ties into this situation where Lego both provides Marcus with parts, yes. uh, lets them know previous information, and then judges them by themselves, the winners of this contest. Which, as far as I can because tell, I is like a if, one-time thing. I don't think there's a situation where it could have happened before coinciding right, well, I'm with I'm saying, like, launch. in the future, Lego sends the Tier 1, like, the Tier 1 winners all the Bionicle sets. If they then use all these sets, and then, like, you know, to make whatever their next mock is, you know, with all the new parts they have, that is not the same thing because Lego is just even though they're sent they're right, but sent parts but you can get those the, sets though now exactly you, like those sets are released well, I mean, okay, before so it, it, it would be into... one thing it'd be one thing if they sent all these sets to someone months in advance before those sets were even available to anyone else as well as told them hey make a mock using these sets yeah. and then told them by the way we have a mock contest coming out in a month <laughs> right. <laughs> right right this right is a situation that's where, where all in, that's where I, the problem listen, becomes. I, I think i think it's just really shady too i'm just like it's, you know, it's very where, shady uh, we can cover the entire very, situation very, very no shady. argument there I, I believe anyone yeah. that hears this information will will agree that this is very shady practice yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's just it doesn't, it, mean, it, it doesn't mean anything happened yeah but it's it is a very coincidental if at the most it's a very coincidental thing that she happened to win right uh i at worst, it's she was picked in the beginning, and Lego deliberately had reserved one of its winners no. to okay, basically she promote her line. And that's the worst case scenario, facts. and I don't think it goes that deep. I don't think it goes no. that deep either. Two things that I would like to stress. First of all, again, we don't have any substantial proof of this. This is all word of mouth offhand. We don't well, know yeah, anything well, okay, this do, is this is do not harass anyone regarding yeah, right. okay that's no important right now this is not a witch hunt that we're trying to open a discussion about the merits of these contests that's right. where this, it's about this ethics news is relevant. And Lego building yeah. contests. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah basically yeah, not, yeah, this is not a witch hunt of Roman yeah. Yeah. because all as far as all I mean, as far as I know too. all she did was make a mock yeah <laughs> so. and as, as, what's also be yeah. fair too even if this was something shady it's all on Lego 
Ro yeah. has not technically been done anything wrong. She used the parts that she was given to make a mock. The fact that Lego chose her to do this That's is on the them. shady part. Yeah. That the shady yeah. part is on the Lego company if this is true, not and, on yeah. a, me- a community member and a mockist. Additionally, with this all being the case, no we didn't know about the final bionicle contest before it was announced. <laughs> right. <laughs> we did really, not know about the ending of bionicle swear. before it was announced. <laughs> That's very we true. We didn't know. VAR had no clue. Yeah. The facts were fun. <laughs> if you want your proofs, go back and listen let's, to Journey let's, let's to Dunn when we're like ready to put a disclaimer here. Up until, like, we have not, we didn't announce that we are now recognized Lego fan media. That did not happen until, like, what? That two is completely weeks ago? coincidental. Completely <laughs> coincidental after just Bionicle had ended. Just because we yeah, just so happened to become a Lego user group <laughs> right around the same time has nothing to do with this. It's actually, it's funny, too, because now we do have to, like, have this disclaimer. Because some people were saying this that, like, VAR was also picked out to be a winner. We have Which, no idea. We literally had not. no idea about Bionicle's <laughs> ending. We had no idea about the contest. We had the same amount of time that anyone else did. I started late contest. with my mock. Yeah. I remember this. We all kind of You did. were scrambling to go Honestly. buy the lightning dragon and get the parts for that. Yeah, I, I went out and bought a bunch of sets, like, the week of it being due, so I could build something in time yeah. for the contest. Right. So, so uh, just wanted to get that, get that yeah. all out of the way. Yeah. Anyway, continue. What's important okay. to take away from all this and, like, the discussion intent does matter like what Kai was saying about how like oh you could make the argument that a person who wins this contest could take those parts and then make a mock in the future would that be the same thing no because it was not the intent of Lego to give that person the parts so they could make the mock the whole thing here the whole issue is as we've said numerous times it is Lego directly sending parts to this person with a goal in mind and then right. picking that person to win their exclusive golden right. mask as part of that goal that's the discussion yeah. we I, need I don't to think have. prototype right prototype parts for me i feel like they're perfectly fine to enter Likewise. in a uh, in a mock because you can buy them off other uh other people who have those parts they find their way on the market all the time exactly just because yeah and they help you know some of them are yeah. in different colors so it helps they- color cohesion Exactly. This is something that I had been saying when I got into this discussion and this debate with members on our message boards. Yeah. I don't think that's an issue. I don't think that non-widespread, non-wide, or like, large production pieces should be excluded. Like, for instance, I have the blue, uh, the, the Lego Tour Mask of Water. If I want to use that to make my mock better, I should absolutely be allowed to. Right, Because exactly. Lego still had to personally produce that and distribute it. Just that because it's an expensive part. Them. Just because like uh, only a certain amount of people have it does not make it any yeah, less like eligible, you, you I feel. You shouldn't exactly. expect everybody to have the exact same <coughs> Lego collection. Right. Really. Or, I mean, That's you can, you can, if you, you go down that rabbit trail, it's like, well, okay, I don't have enough money to buy all of these sets, so therefore mm-hmm. no one can enter a contest that doesn't have the same amount of Bionicle sets I do. Yeah. Exactly. Because that would be unfair. It's a, it's a slippery slope. It's impossible to make it all fair. I do, I do see the, like, there's a, a little bit of people who say, well, you know, there's a difference between buying a prototype parts that just happen to be on the market and being sent them by Lego. That's the that difference. Is, and yes. that is, that is a different category. That is a big difference. I feel like for our contest, because we run contests on our own message boards, we cannot personally validate everyone and be like, hey, you get that from Lego? No? All right, cool. Just wanting, you know, like, when we see the receipt from eBay awesome you know you're now allowed to enter this contest we can't do that that's really unrealistic to expect people to police everything that comes every prototype part i feel like they're perfectly fine to you know to be entered this contest the situation that's the thing we're talking about here that's a shady part it's a combination of everything it's the fact that the winner appears or the idea that the winner was endorsed to win by lego that's the problem. It's the idea that corporate Lego decided to use the contest as a marketing scheme and possibly, and not like 100%, but possibly invalidated someone else from winning in order to endorse something that they have invested in beforehand. And yeah. then cancel and again, it two years later. <laughs> <laughs> and again, and like, it's all on corporate. I want to really make that clear because yeah. the last, like, you know, some Screw people you, will accuse us trying to start a witch hunt. And that's really what we want to do here. On the bright side, 
on the bright side, at least we know that they didn't donate the trash cans that won the other contest. Yeah. <laughs> oh <laughs> my true. gosh. Let's look at so Man. like I'll hold held three contests for Bionicle. Let's take a look at them now. Now we have one where there's rumors of like collusion and contest cheating. We have the second one that was hilariously ineffective and had trash cans get golden masks. Six given away and one garbage contest, and then we have the third one, which was overshadowed by the cancellation and the mask of ultimate power on the Makuta set that we wouldn't get. So, oh, don't forget the mask contest. Great job, it's, it's Lego. Funny because, like, you did good. The, you did real good with these contests. The <laughs> social incredible. media, like, take a picture of something that looks like a mask. They really could have just been like, make your best meme, and it would have been way more popular. <laughs> yeah. Make your best meme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the meme craze did more than these contests did. This con these contests were not good. <laughs> In either. Except for the Makuta contest, the Anika was the, good, uh, the entrance in the, the contest. Makuta contest, the mock that the people villain contest? made were good. That's what I'll say. The contest, yeah. So, All I right. think uh, we need to have a redo. Hashtag contest of victory. We should host. <laughs> oh my we gosh! Should really start hosting our own contests. We should. We should we do, do more. We do all the time. We should do more. No, you're done. Shut up. Contests. We've done like two. All right. All right well. This is a long episode, so let's go ahead and wrap this party up. We didn't plug anything, yes. so real quick. Well, you guys yeah, always forget. It. Check us out on Vessel That's... at vessel.com forward slash the TTV channel, and if you want to talk about all the interesting topics and mocks that we discussed in today's episode, if you want to post your own mocks, or post your own mocks, won. the uh, message boards yeah. are the place to be at board.ttvchannel.com. Next week, we will uh, I'll probably not have any Bionicle discussions, so we'll be back to business as usual. So, uh, But this has been fun. I, this is it, the, right? That's the last Bionicle thing the that we have. The contest's over. It really is. That's it. Yep. Rest so, in peace. That's all. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. You can, go ahead and click that, you can go ahead and click that unsubscribe button now. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh Listen, don't give him you, ideas. We can't afford now. to say that now. There's a point where we can make a, jo a joke about that. Enjoy. We can't. A joke. Just a mistake. I'll make as Come many on. jokes as I want. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks. Stop being I made a mistake, guys. I'm wow, sorry. Wow, Kahi, the only joke here is you. <laughs> 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 I just made that joke. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to steal your. He joke. made a mistake. Want me, want it's okay. Another joke? No, I don't. Crap. No, Vin. Oh, oh. Wow, Vin. You're a joke, Vin. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Uh, once we're done with wow. this podcast, I'm gonna go play in traffic. All right. Let's oh. Oh. Thank you all very much. Make sure much. you live stream it. Yeah. <laughs> live stream with your mask of victory. Maybe you'll finally win at something. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Alright, so anyway, thank Whoa. you all very much for watching. Whoa. Thanks, Zach, Over. He slept on it. TV Whoa. episode 218. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you all next week for absolutely nothing. <laughs> so, uh, we didn't say your names. Yeah, but I'm getting to that. I'm messing up. <laughs> it took you so long. I'm Var. He was literally just about to say it. I'm John. I'm Ven. Yeah, I, I was waiting for another person who wasn't there. I'm, I'm purple. I'm and purple. I'm Tenebrae Invictus. Thank Dirty you, Mar. everybody. That was terrible. Dirty Dirty Mar. Next Dirty week. Mar. That was Mar. Dirty Mar. That was, Mar. Mar. That was not as bad as Victor. Uh, Dirty Mar. Dirty Mar.